Today we're going to look at how to create a profile in the new Environix Windows 7, 8, 10 software for the Series 4000. In order to create a profile, you have to have done two previous steps. There are videos for both of these steps if you want to look at those. There are links to them on our website. The first is to import your instrument data. You see we have done that here and we can read that instrument as well. Uh, you can see that data has been inserted. Second is to create cylinders. And we've done that as well. Here I have two cylinders, a nitrogen cylinder and a 5% CO2 cylinder. So now we're ready to create a profile. <clears throat> the profile is the basis for all the programs you're going to run, um, the flow modes or concentration modes or the program or schedule modes. The first step is to click on Add. Pop-up will then let you select the instrument that you want to set up a profile for. I only have one instrument inserted into my software, so that is the only one that comes up. If you have multiple systems, you'll have to choose it from the drop-down. Select that and click OK. I can give this, the unit a name. Um, I'm just going to call it 5389 again. You can give a description if you'd like to as well. You're then going to go to this graph on the bottom, double-click on Cylinder, Port 1, and assign a cylinder. I'll have my nitrogen on Port 1, and double-click on 2, and I'll attach my CO2 cylinder here. If you have multiple cylinders, you can attach them wherever you'd like. Once that's done, click on Save. You can see now my, my uh, serial number is coming up on the left-hand side, showing that the profile has been created. If you click on that, you can then see the various modes. We'll look further into creating each of these types of modes in other videos. We recommend only having one profile per unit. You can create lots of different modes within that one profile, so there's no need to have multiple profiles for the same system. Also, if you're looking to edit the profile, for example, to change the gases, you need to click on the edit menu, and then you can double click on your cylinder to change that to a different cylinder to move them around. And then just click save again when you're finished. If you want to remove the profile entirely, if the unit is no longer used, for example, you hit delete, uh, and that will it'll ask you to confirm and that will let you just delete the profile. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. Follow our blog for more information on using our newest software or call or email us if you have any questions.